the most common question we get at the museum is, are these skeletons real? We're gonna answer that right now. This is a cast copy of our Displetosaurus leg. You can see his knee, here's his tibia, that's his shin bone, and his foot with all the nice pointy claws at the end of the toes. This is nice and lightweight. Here's the original tibia. This is really heavy. The original fossil took millions of years to make, and it can't be replaced. The cast here took us about a day, and we can make as many as we want. Alright, the reason why we do cast displays instead of the originals, and honestly there's actually a lot of reasons. First of all, the casts are a lot more durable than the original fossils. The original fossils are very fragile and um, they're kind of priceless. Um, also, the originals are a lot harder to pose. With a cast you can have a really cool pose and you can have a kid looking right into the dinosaur and the dinosaur can be looking right back at him. You can't do that sort of thing with originals as much. Uh, also, the originals were very important for research. If the originals are mounted up in a display, it's very difficult for a scientist to study them because he has to crawl up into the display and really get into it and it's already mounted. But with uh, casts, you can have an exact copy of the original up and then the originals are actually available to the scientists to be able to take the bones they need to study, turn them and look at the details like the muscle scars which tell us a lot about the animal when it was alive. This is a mold. This is the tool we use to make cast copies of our original fossils. It's nice and stretchy and bendy because it's made out of silicone rubber. We use a two-part plastic resin. I'm going to mix these two liquids together, pour it into the mold, and a few minutes later it'll harden up and I'll have a cast copy of the original fossil. I've just made a cast copy of the Overaptor nest. You can see the eggs right here. After a professional coat of paint, it will look like the original without the drawbacks of fragility, weight, or irreplaceability. Now you've seen what casts are all about. You've learned that they're duplicates that are stronger and lighter than the original, and they're replaceable. You've also seen how we make them with silicone molds and a two-part plastic resin. Check out some of our other videos, or come by and see us in person at the Dinosaur Resource Center in Woodland Park, Colorado. If you want to participate in the show, go ahead and post some of your questions in the comments section below, or email them to us at questions at rmdrc.com. Until then, I'm Jacob. Thanks for watching. <laughs>